have a process to fall back on, it steers you past your own fears and your own blocks. And in my book, You Unstuck, which one of you will get, I, I really, I did a lot of neuroscience study. And basically, to boil it down, and I know many of you have scientific backgrounds, we feel first and think second. That's how we are wired. We don't have time to sort out the friends from the foes. We feel first, we think second. And if we give in to those fears, which we don't always recognize, sometimes they're just those little, uh, I call the immediate negative response. We just back off from the risk taking. If we don't have a process to pull us past that, then we'll, we'll surf along. We'll take the easier route as opposed to, I'll go for that big job. I'll try something even though I don't feel I'm completely qualified. And this is my process that I started years ago and now I've used with clients around the world in tech and healthcare and all sorts of uh, media companies. And it's really simple because I do believe our brain craves simplicity. First is clarify the vision. Now, you all probably have a vision for your life and your career, but I want to frame it for you or have you frame it a year from now, if I said you can only accomplish one thing, and you could take this home and think about your personal life later, but in the workplace, if you could only do one thing, and you're back here next year, and you greet a colleague, and you haven't seen him for a year, and she says to you, hey, what would you do this year? What's that one thing? What is that emotional assignment with which your life just wouldn't be complete? That's that one thing. Now, there's an interesting thing that, that we do when we overcomplicate life. Any overthinkers in the room? Yeah. We're great at that, women. I know, just finding your seat in the room was like, oh my God, is it here? Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? <laughs> we all do that. Men, I, you come in, you plop down the end of the story. That's it. So there was a Harvard Business, classic Harvard Business School study where they looked at retirement funds at 647 companies, 800,000 employees. And they looked at retirement fund options, and the options went from two to 59 different options. And the companies that had the most options had the fewest people apply to the retirement funds. And of those that did, the more options they had to choose from, the more risk averse they were. So the more information, the more choice, the more options, the less action we actually take. It's too overwhelming. We don't know where to start. So that's just a, a note to say, when you have a vision, just think of what is the big picture. One thing I got to do this year, you'll do everything else. You're not going to let your kids starve. You're not going to not pay your car payment. You're not going to do your day job. I mean, all that will happen. But you've got to keep yourself focused on what is that one thing that will really advance your career or your learning or your team, whatever it is for you. Next, simplify the path. I think the greatest leaders are the ones who make the things the most simple. Here's how you do it. And by the way, this may be common sense, not always common practice. Get stuff out of the way that is irrelevant, unnecessary, or slows you down. This could be excuses, bad habits, the wrong people, whatever that is that does not serve the vision. Move it out of the way. Whatever will accelerate the vision, bring that in. Advanced training, learning, a connection, networking, whatever it is that will accelerate that vision. Bring that in. So get rid of the wrong stuff, bring in the right stuff. Finally, execute. This goes back to your AR. Action required. You've got to do something. You've got to do something to execute the plan. This comes down to having metrics. And I'm basically, I'm a good left brain, right brain. But I sort of default more to the creative people performance, the sort of squishy, touchy-feely side of the world. Therefore, I put metrics on everything. As an executive coach, I measure everything. There's a pre, there's a mid, there's a post, there's an everything that gets measured. Otherwise, I can't judge progress or success. So you've got to have factors for accountability and you've got to have metrics.